Well, students, business owners, and inhabitants of Alamatu Mankong in Nezam County have been in, dif in difficulties in their attempt to cope without electricity for more than four months. While well, the lone transformer supply in the neighborhood got burnt as a result of um, overloading with the growth of population with a direct consequence being the increasing number of people in need of electricity. The colonial Enil kept an uh, increasing number of subscribers. Enil, just like the colonial administrators of the BS regime, less of the consequence of increasing subscribers to a single transformer so long as the money was entering their coffers. Well, the colonial administration had no remorse for Amazonian students in this area and shamelessly this regime in the month ahead organized end of circle examinations for these deprived students to compete with those in other areas who have been studying under better conditions. Wonder are the coffers of the colonial government so dry that they cannot replace the transformer until after four months. The electricity sector is another field from East of Preston and Paul Beer. For months and counting, the people of the Alamachu in Malcon, Mason County are no longer looking and waiting to see the return of electricity. As reported last week on Undaunted, in their frustration, students, business owners, and inhabitants in this neighborhood have pronounced the cause of the colonial regime of Pobia for deciding to make life miserable for them. On the 31st of December 2022, President Pobia announced that in 2023, the epileptic nature of the country will be no more as the electricity generation plants of Lum, Panga, and Memveli are geared towards completion. These were all lies that the Lumpanga hydroelectric plant and the Menveli Dam at completion because on the 31st of December 2023, he repeated the same promise. These two are artificial dams that the colonial regime preferred to lavish huge sums of taxpayers' money on rather than spending less to her nurse the mentum fall that when generated can supply the whole of West Africa. Oh, well, speculation has it that the refusal of the La Republic de Cameroon colonial government to develop the mentum fall is simply because it is in Amazonian soil of Mentum County. And if it were in La Republic de Cameroon, it would have been a priority project rather than creating artificial dams. Now, La Republic de Cameroon attempt to shift all developmental projects from Amazonia to La Republic de Cameroon is really a pound foolish effect. Well, inhabitants of Alamajo are spending more to fuel generators and acquire solar system gadgets to lit their homes at night and even charge their gadgets. To remedy the situation and not depend on the colonial administration, the Amazonian people of Alamatu in Marcon contributed and acquired for themselves a new transformer that was installed yesterday. Kudos to them. <laughs> 